In this problem, we have an improper integral, and we're being asked to evaluate it. So this integral is improper because it's not continuous on the interval of integration. So we're integrating from negative 1 to 1, and 0 is a number that's between negative 1 to 1, and you can't plug in 0 into this, um, into this integral because you'll end up dividing by zero. So the idea is to break it up where it's discontinuous. So we can rewrite this as the integral from negative one to zero of, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the integrand by the way. It's, it's this, which you can bring upstairs and write like this, right? The exponent will become negative. So this is x to the negative two thirds dx plus and then we're going from 0 to 1, x to the negative 2 thirds dx. Okay, so now what we do is we replace uh, the discontinuous point with the variable, and we let that variable approach the number as follows. So we're going from negative 1, and I like, I like to use the letter b. So b, x to the negative 2 thirds dx. And we'll let b approach zero. Now the important part is to figure out which way it's approaching from. So what I like to do to figure this out is draw a little picture. So here is negative one and here is zero. Right? This is zero and negative one. And b is right here. And b is approaching zero. Oh, so it's approaching from the left. You see, so if you draw a picture, the picture will give you uh, the direction. So plus limit b approaches zero and this is b and this is one x to the negative two-thirds dx same thing here we need a little picture to figure out the direction so here's zero and here's one I'm getting these from from here from the upper integral here and here's b oh look so it's approaching from the right it's better to use different variables but um it doesn't really matter. I mean, this b is this is a separate process from this one. Right? They're two separate limits. You don't want to combine these. As long as you keep them separate, you can use the same uh, variable. Okay. So let's go ahead and integrate each of these. So this is the limit as b approaches zero from the left. So when you integrate this, you add one. So it'll be negative two thirds plus one. So negative two thirds plus three thirds, so, which is one third. So we have x to the one-third, and then we're supposed to divide by one-third, but when you divide by one-third, that's the same thing as multiplying by three. And we're going from negative one to b, plus the limit as b approaches zero from the right. Same thing, we're gonna get three x to the one-third except now we're going from b to one. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches zero from the left. So you take the b and you plug it in, so it'll be three times b to the one-third. Then you subtract and then plug in the negative one, three times negative one to the one-third. Parentheses, parentheses. And then plus the limit as b approaches zero from the right. So you plug in one, so we get three times one to the one-third minus three times b to the one-third. All right, we can go ahead and plug in zero here. It's nice and continuous. There's no issues, we're not dividing by zero. We can drop the limit sign now. So we get three times, well, zero to the one-third is zero. And then this piece here, negative one to the one-third is negative one. And so negative and negative is positive, so we get a plus 3. Plus 3, right, because this is 1, so it goes away, minus 3 times 0. So we end up with 6. So the final answer is 6. I hope this video has been helpful.